Before we start this video, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our new videos. When it comes to insects, the praying mantis is the strangest of the bunch. The mantis walks with a slow deliberation, hiding in plain sight, often unnoticed by even the most observant of nature's explorers. With over 2,400 species and about 430 genera in 15 families, stay with us as we are looking at 10 of the most beautiful praying mantises in the world. Number 10. Originating from Africa, the ghost mantis is remarkable for its leaf-like body. It comes in various brownish shades from very dark brown, almost black, to greenish gray. The ghost mantis is camouflaged so as to appear as dead, dried-up leaf material. It has an elongated head, a flattened, extended prothorax, and leaf-like protrusions from its limbs. The mantis also has a forewing that looks like a desiccated leaf, and the creases in its wings are actually shadings of pigment. In the wild, the ghost praying mantis effectively blends in against dead leaves. Number 9. Found in southern India and Sri Lanka, the wandering violin mantis, also known as ornate mantis or Indian rose mantis, can reach up to 11 centimeters, 4.3 inches long. Its body has a lot of appendages that look like dried leaves, while the body itself is long and thin to resemble a wooden stick, making it known for swaying its body back and forth to imitate a stick flowing in the wind. This is one of the few mantis species that can be kept in groups safely all their lives. They prefer to eat flying prey and will therefore leave each other alone. Not to be mistaken, when hungry they will definitely turn to each other. Cannibalism can happen when there is not enough food, especially if the mantises are still young. Number 8. Native to Asia, the male's jeweled flower mantis only grow up to 3.8 centimeters, 1.5 inches. In fact, the jeweled flower mantis is the smallest flower mantis, yet most widespread. The males of this species are fairly communal, but the females can be cannibalistic. Though infrequent, cannibalism among this species is nevertheless more common than among other flower mantises. With 90% survival rate among nymphs, the jeweled flower mantis make easy pets with proper care, where they can live about nine months in captivity. Number 7. Ranging from Western Asia to the northeastern coast of Italy, the Impusa fasciida has a tapering head with a miter-like helmet, oval compound eyes, slender raptorial forelegs, and a long, thin thorax. The ventral abdomen and the femurs of the long, thin walking legs have distinct lobules, which serve as camouflage. Due to its bizarre shape and the yellowish-green striped pattern of the legs, this mantis is well camouflaged in vegetation and is noticeable only when in motion. In the course of evolution, it has specialized in preying on fast-flying insects, such as flies and bees. One reason for this preference may be that flying insects serve as nutritious food, which is important in the spring, when there is a limited food supply. Number 6. Found in North Africa, parts of the Mediterranean, Middle East, Southern Asia, and on the Canary Islands, the thistle mantis is also known as small devil's flower mantis, Egyptian flower mantis, and Arab mantis. This species of praying mantis is creamy white to beige, with light green stripes and light green veins on the wings as adults. Even though they are not an extremely cannibalistic species, these mantises are not actually recommended for the beginners who wish to keep them, as they require special high temperatures for proper growth and survival. Number 5. Found in Eastern Africa, the Devil's Flower Mantis, or Giant Devil's Flower Mantis, is one of the largest praying mantis, possibly the largest that mimics flowers, where females grow to be about 13 centimeters, 5 inches in length, and males to about 10 centimeters, 4 inches. In the event of being confronted by a predator, this mantis initiates a diamatic display in an attempt to scare off or momentarily distract a predator. Its front legs are raised to expose the conspicuous patterns depicted on the bottom of the thorax and abdomen. Similarly, the wings display a combination of vibrant colors to startle and confuse predators. 
Number 4. Native to China, glass mantis is a small species of mantis where most of them are light green, with wings that resemble the lace wings wings. Just an inch in length and short-legged, this mantis's body is nearly completely see-through, like its name suggests. As one of the rarest mantises in the world, the glass mantis wait to ambush or patiently stalk their prey. But once they're ready to strike, they do so with lightning speed, attacking with those big front legs so quickly that it's hard to see with the naked eye. In addition, they have spikes on their legs to skewer and pin the victims into place. Number 3. Native to the tropical forests of Southeast Asia, the orchid mantis is characterized by brilliant coloring and a structure finely adapted for camouflage, mimicking parts of the orchid flower. The four walking legs resemble lower petals. The toothed front pair is used as in other mantises for grasping prey. These mantises are some of the best camouflagers in the animal kingdom. From the right angle, they can look completely like flowers and nothing like insects and they can even change color to better reflect the vegetation of their habitat. This makes them hard to be spotted in the wild, apart from the fact of them being rare. Number 2. Native to Eastern and Southern Africa, the spiny flower mantis is a beautiful species with yellow and green stripes, and as adults, they have a beautiful patch of color on their wings that looks like an eye. When threatened, these insects raise their forewings, which makes them look like a much larger creature with big golden eyes. This is called a diamatic display. The females of this species are larger, heavier, and broader than males. An easy way to tell males from females is to look at the length of their wings. A female's wings will reach to the end of their abdomen, while a male's wings will extend past it. Number 1. The iridescent bark mantis is a very rare species of praying mantis found in Southeast Asia. Most related mantids display bland coloring to act as camouflage, yet this invertebrate goes the opposite route. It tends to rest underneath the bark of trees, feeding on butterflies, termites, flies, and mainly on cockroaches. But they also chase after their prey, rather than ambushing them like most mantis species. Rather surprisingly, the IUCN does not yet have a classification for this amazing species. However, most experts consider it to be threatened, as its numbers appear to be scant in the wild. 